friends, welcome to Teddy Bear. Good morning, Jesus. Nice having you here. It's a joy just knowing you're near. There go my burdens. There go my fears. Good morning, Jesus. Nice having you here. Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad you are here joining us today. Let's start with a prayer. Put your hands together, bow your head, and close your eyes. Thank you, God, that we can gather together to worship you. Please help us listen to your word and follow you. Amen. This week's story is about baby Moses. He is one of the great, 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 great grandsons of Isaac. The king of Egypt didn't like God's people called Israelites. So he decided to get rid of all the Israelites' baby boys. But God had a plan for saving his people. Let's listen to the story. Baby Moses Many years passed. A new pharaoh ruled over Egypt. He did not know about the good things J Joseph had done. By now, there were many people in Jacob's family. They were called Israelites. Pharaoh did not like the Israelites. He made them work hard. One day, Pharaoh decided to get rid of all the Israelites' baby boys. A woman named Jochebed had a baby boy. She wanted to save him, so she gently laid her baby inside a basket and placed him in the liver. The baby started to cry. <coughs> Pharaoh's daughter saw the basket and opened it. She gently picked up the baby and hugged him. I want to keep you, the princess whispered. She named him Moses because she pulled him out of the water. Miriam, the baby's big sister, had been watching nearby. She said to the princess, I know a woman who can help you take care of the baby boy. So Miriam ran to get her mother. Jochebed was so happy. When Moses was a young boy, Jochebed returned him to the princess. He grew up in the palace. That was today's story. How did Pharaoh treat the Israelites? Pharaoh didn't like the Israelites, and he forced them to work very hard. Why did Moses' mother put her baby inside a basket and place him in the liver? Because Pharaoh tried to get rid of all the Israelites' baby boys, so she wanted to save her baby. Who found the basket with baby Moses inside? Yeah, that Pharaoh's daughter found him. What did Pharaoh's daughter do? She saved the baby Moses and raised him in the palace. Oh. Hi, Claude. Hello. <laughs> what time is it? Singing time. Yay, it's a singing time. Yay. Let's start with Jesus Loves Me as a user, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Yay! Let's 
to sing the Bible song, the Bible verse song, I will be with you always. Matthew 28, 20. Let's sing it with the clock, okay? One, two, three. I will be with you always, you always, you always. I will be with you always. Matthew 20, 20. Yeah. Let's sing this time a little faster. I will be with you always, we always. Okay? One, two, three. I will be with you always, you always, you always. I will be with you always. Matthew 20, 20. That was fun. Everybody did a great job. This week's craft is Baby Moses in the Basket. Ah, this is the basket and Baby Moses inside and uh, some grasses around him. Please make one and take some pictures and share with us. It's time to do the closing prayer. Let's put your hands together, bow your head, and close your eyes. Thank you, God, for being with us wherever we go. Help us to trust and obey you. Amen. It's already time to say goodbye. Aww. Don't forget, we are sharing a few pictures of our friends at the end of the video every week. Please send some more so we can put them in there. I miss you all and I am looking forward to seeing you next week. Bye-bye. Annyeong.